In much relief that has come in for 24-year-old Hadia, where the Supreme Court has held her independent right to live and marry as she, wish, as she wishes. Hadia, a medical student from Bengaluru who was taken through months of court proceedings, being questioned and slandered, denied her rights to her marriage of her choice to her husband Shafin Jahan to the extent that her parents had also labelled her case as that to be of love jihad. Following this last May, when the Kerala High Court annulled Hadia's marriage, ordering the NIA to step in and investigate. But now the Supreme Court has reversed that very decision of the High Court, underlining here, and I quote, Marriage has to be separated from criminal activity or it will set a bad precedent. The Chief Justice led three Judge Bench also stated that the National Investigative Agency, the probe there that they're conducting could continue separately provided it did not attempt to question the legitimacy of Hadia's marriage. The Hadia case came up for consideration here in the Apex Court and what we saw were some very, very interesting uh, observations from the top court which will go on to have far-reaching implications. For once, the Supreme Court made it abundantly clear by way of an observation as to how the top court cannot interfere with the legitimacy of Hadia's marriage. It was her free will who she chose to marry and that was an aspect that the top court or any agency could not probe or get in the midst of. Uh, Honorable Justice D.Y. Chandrachur being very clear uh, in his mind as he made these observations that the Supreme Court cannot go into the mindset or the thinking process of Hadia after she had deposed before this honorable court and made a submission that it was her free will and free choice that she is choosing uh, uh, to be married to Shafin. So again the top court reaffirming the value of uh, this principle that a girl or uh, any person has the right and the freedom to choose whosoever they wish to marry. This is in close pursuance to the earlier Supreme Court's observations wherein it was the Honorable Chief Justice of India who had posed this query to the NIA whether or not there was any law which prohibited a girl from choosing to marry or love a criminal. That was a very interesting observation. Of course, we saw heated arguments today where the NIA and also counsel for Hadia's father was pressing for the Supreme court to investigate the circumstances surrounding her marriage uh, that will perhaps play out in the foreseeable future but the top court making it abundantly clear that it is looking at one uh, limited aspect of law uh, which is this that whether the high court had the past to annul a marriage in which two people are party and neither of them have a problem with the said marriage.